Right guys, in this video we're going to make start moving our uh, geometry across into Substance Painter. Let me just jump back. So this is where we left off. We'd laid out our uh, UV coordinates using UDIMS. And I'm currently in my low polygon representation of my terrain. So what I want to do is I want to save this to disk as an FBX. So I'm going to put a ROP FBX output. Okay, and just plug that up. And in the output file, I've uh, I've got my uh, my directory set up. So I'm just going to put this into my export. Is it export or exports? Export. And I'm going to call this terrain low. Okay. So this will export my uh, my geometry as an FBX file, which Substance Painter understands. Um, so we can just hit save to disk, let it do its thing, and that's our low polygon version done. We need to jump across to our height field. Okay. So if you remember, we're, the, we're still looking at the um, volume here. So in order for Substance Painter to be able to bake the, uh, the high resolution maps and the normal maps and the displacement maps, uh, we need to be working with polygons. So again, I can put down uh, terrain output, labs terrain mesh output, and plug that in, put the display flag on it, let it do its thing. This will convert it to polygons just like we did with the low, po uh, with the low version of it. Uh, this is just going to um, change it to, uh, to polygons. Okay, so thinking, thinking, thinking. There we go. Um, we don't necessarily need to tile this because we're just using this for baking purposes, but we don't need to change any settings. We can leave the base density at one because we want to capture as much of that high frequency detail as we can. Uh, and then once we've got that, we can put down another ROP FBX output, plug that in. And this again is going into our export folder and we'll call this terrain high. Okay. so. That's and then hit save to disk and this will be quite a big file so uh, give your computer a little while to to think about it there's a lot of data that we're moving uh, backwards and forwards so thinking 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 All right, done. So we have converted it from volume to polygons. And as you can see, it's captured all that high frequency detail for us. But now we're ready to um, we're ready to work with this in Substance Painter. So with those files both baked onto disk, I can jump across into Substance Painter. Um, and this is not necessarily a tutorial on how to use Substance Painter. Um, so I, I am assuming a little bit of prior knowledge, um, but if you're struggling with any of it, just reach out on Teams. Uh, I'm more than happy to help. So let's create a new file. So file new, all right. So the document resolution is very important. So that's, this is going to be what all our kind of maps are going to be based around. Again, 2K seems to work well for me, especially in real time. 2K is kind of, that's where we've sort of landed at the moment. But for VFX stuff and really high detail stuff, you might want to bump that up. Uh, just be wary that obviously everything's going to just be a little bit more sluggish and take a little bit more processing power to handle um, in real time in the viewport. So with that set, uh, make sure our UV tile settings are set correctly. Uh, as it says, it cannot be changed later. So we're using a UV tile workflow or UDIMS, which we've set up already. And then we need to bring in our low polygon version here. So I'm going to select that on disk. Uh, and there it is in my export folder. So I'm going to select terrain low. Open that. 
And then with all that set, make sure auto unwrap is unchecked because we've, we've done the unwrapping. We don't need Substance Painter to help. We don't need to import any cameras and 2K and we we'll hit OK. And again, it's going to do some thinking and it's going to bring in our low polygon representation. All right, there we go. So that's our low polygon height field brought in as polygons. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, take advantage of the bakers in Substance Painter to get that high frequency detail back on our on our terrain. So I am going to, again, your user interface might be slightly different to mine, but the, you can usually find these tabs along the top right here. Uh, and what we're looking for is the texture set settings. Okay, so you might find it here. And we're looking for bake mesh maps. All right, so we're gonna open that window. And this allows us to take high frequency detail off our high polygon objects and then capture that information in texture maps and then apply it to our low polygon representation. So we get, I can't tell the difference. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna set that over to 2K because that's what we're working with. Um, the rest of the settings uh, for sort of advanced users or if you're troubleshooting, make sure you've got all these maps ticked because we, we will be making use of, uh, of most of them. So these are the maps that it's going to generate. Now remember, because we're working with UDIM, it's going to generate a map. It's going to generate four maps for each of these. Or, you know, if you went back with a four by four tile, it's going to generate 16 maps of these. Okay. So when we uh, hit the OK button, we're, we're going to have a bit of a wait. All right. So the next thing we need to do is bring in our high definition mesh. And again, we can click on this. And there we can see our high polygon terrain, which like I said, is quite a large file. So this is 1.4 gig on disk. Uh, so this is a lot of uh, a lot of data that we're that we're bringing in. So I'm going to hit open on that, and we're ready to go. Um, so as you can see here down here, we've got 28 textures that are ready to be baked. So what I would suggest is when you hit this bake selected button, um, you go make a cup of tea or you go, <laughs> you know, you go for a little walk because it's doing a lot of calculations and depending on your, your computer hardware, um, this, you know, it could take a while, but you know, you get some nice results at the end of it. If you find that these bakes don't complete and you're getting errors and Substance Painter is crashing or you're running out of RAM or, or whatever, what I would suggest you do in that case is on the terrain segment node, just drop the uh, the, the resolution of your high polygon. Um, if you drop it by half, then that should be more than enough, but just do be aware you're gonna lose some of that high frequency detail. So again, it's about picking and choosing your battles. You know, what, what can you afford? How much can you afford to, um, to squeeze out. Unfortunately, I'm not working on a, a Quadro FX super duper workstation. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set these bakes running by hitting bake selected textures, and then I'm going to make a cup of tea. So I will see you in the next video. Thanks.